Hi everybody, this is Aino. In this video, I'll show you a wonderful Japanese food and travel spot at Shibuya. Let's go! Today, I came to Shibuya. Shibuya is well known as one of the busiest towns in Tokyo. Shibuya Scramble intersection is the busiest crossing in the world. Look at this, people from all over Tokyo walk on the street. However, Shibuya is very interesting town to walk around and hang out. So in this video, I'll share 11 great Japanese food along with travel spots in Shibuya. This video absolutely helps your travel. Enjoy the video and make your own travel plan at Shibuya. Okay, let's get started. Please subscribe my channel. Firstly, I'll share restaurants nearby Shibuya station. Number 1. Fujime. It's a Japanese tea restaurant, but we can have very unique traditional Japanese food, which is ochazuke. You'll be surprised, this will be completely changed. This is the menu. It's a Japanese tea specialized shop, so all the menu is related to Japanese tea. We can have Japanese dishes, desserts, and tea. I'll share salmon and salmon caviar ochazuke today. We can have Japanese tea before the meal. Having Japanese tea to be relaxed. It's easy to make tea. A paper indicates the water level, so we just pour boiled water to certain level. This is good. It's done. Wait for a moment to be ready. Tea is getting extracted. After a while, tea is soon ready, then take a pot to serve tea by ourselves. It's so beautiful and fragrant. Please have a cup of tea and enjoy your own time for a moment. This is a dish that I want to share today. This is salmon and salmon caviar matcha ochazuke. Ochazuke is rice is in boiled green tea. It's Japanese casual dish. Toppings for this ochazuke is salmon caviar, salmon, chopped dry seaweed, shaved kelp, leafy green, and rice with rainbow tempura bits. It looks great as no seafood rice bowl. It's slightly seasoned by soy sauce, so it's already tasty. Salmon caviar and salmon are really fresh. However, interesting point is from now. I've got teapot and matcha tea is in the pot. As I said, ochazuke is rice is in boiled green tea, so we pour this green tea to rice. Ocha means green tea and zuke means soaked in liquid in Japanese. So we have it like this. What do you think? It's amazing, isn't it? I know how you feel now. It looks awful, right? We usually put green tea to rice, so green is not normally too thick. But this is matcha, so it looks not really good. But no worries, it tastes of course good. Matcha adds bitterness and great scent. This is a real ochazuke. It's a famous Japanese dish. Fujimian sells Japanese tea and teapots for souvenir. Quality is very good. It's a great idea to enjoy fragrant Japanese tea at home. Number 2. Hayashi this is the most popular ramen shop at Shibuya. It serves seafood and tonkos mix based ramen called Yokai Tonkos Ramen. Menu is extremely simple. We can order only ramen. We can also order seasoned egg and chashu for the toppings. This is the ramen with seasoned egg. It costs 100 yen. Ramen is very beautiful with golden soup. Soup is pretty runny more than it's looking. I thought it would be very thick. It smells like tonkotsu and seafood. Seasoned egg is marvelous. Egg white is very, very, very soft, and egg yolk is also soft and oozy. This is fantastic. Other toppings are shred green onion, bamboo shoot, pork loin chashu, and dry seaweed. Lineups of toppings are very common. Noodles are medium thin street noodles. These are very chewy and good. In the end, this ramen tastes good, but I prefer thicker and stronger taste ramen. This tastes too light for me. I'm not too sure why this ramen is rated as number one at Shibuya. I prefer other ramen shops. If you visit here, please give me your review in the comment box. Hayashi is a very busy shop, so take plenty time to wait and have ramen. Okay, let's move on to center part of Shibuya. There's a building called Ichimarikyu, and I'll share food around here. Number 3. Wadatsumi It's a great soba restaurant, but hidden menu, wagyu beef rice bowl is also wonderful. We can have it with reasonable price. Inside of the restaurant is all the Japanese style interior. It's very cozy and relaxed. 
there is a Japanese garden just in front of the window. We can have meals with this great view. This is the menu. It's a soba noodle restaurant, so most of the menu is related to soba noodles. But I recommend Kirin item, Wagyu beef rice bowl today. And this is it. This is Wagyu Hitsumabushi. It costs 2200 yen. Seasoned Wagyu beef is all over the world. Wagyu is usually very expensive, but this Wagyu Hitsumabushi is very reasonable. Outside is nicely blended, and looseness is very good. It smells great. Each piece is thinly sliced. It's really tender, yet chewy and meaty. It's so savory. Mixed Wagyu beef is also mixed with rice. It's slightly sweet and salty. This is also tasty. We usually have soup stock with tsumabushi. Once we have half amount of rice bowl, we put soup stock to the bowl. This soup stock is from Bonito. It's so fragrant and flavorful. To put soup stock, we can enjoy different style and taste of food at one dish. Wagyu hitsumabushi looks even better, doesn't it? This is the way of having hitsumabushi in Japan. Watatsumi is a great hidden gem in Shibuya. I guarantee you'll be happy with dishes. Number 4. Zuicho. It's a simple rice bowl, but it could be the best Japanese dish. Zuicho serves katsudon. It's one of the most famous dish in Japan. Menu is very simple. It serves only katsudon. Soup comes with katsudon. It has very gentle taste of soup stock. This is katsudon. Katsudon is deep fried pork, similar with beaten egg, by sweet soy sauce based soup topped on rice. But this katsudon is slightly different. Deep fried pork and scrambled egg are cooked separately, and those are topped on rice. Katsudon sauce tastes richer, and deep fried pork called tonkatsu is very crispy. Crispy tonkatsu, fluffy scrambled egg, and sweet and salty sauce make wonderful rice bowl. Zuicho only accepts cash, and this is really busy shop. Take plenty time for katsudon. You have amazing katsudon at Zuicho. Number 5. Sario Suisei. It's another Japanese tea specialized shop, but this time I present you matcha dessert. It's incredible! This is the menu. We can have varieties of dishes, but sweets and drinks are more than Japanese meals. Matcha is used for every dish. And today, I'd like to share this special dessert, which is matcha mon blanc. Once we order it, a shop staff makes mon blanc just in front of us. This is very attractive. Have you seen it? I was a little bit embarrassed because performance was very nice and mon blanc machine is unusual. So other customers were surprised and kept watching me so much with their interest. This is much mon blanc. Matcha and chestnut paste are drizzled on cake. It smells very good with chestnut and matcha. This is amazing! Momon paste tastes very rich of matcha and chestnut. The balance of matcha and chestnut are equal. It's perfect. I can taste both at the same time. It's really moist and tasty. A whole chestnut is topped on the cake. It tastes sweet and it smells very good. Sponge cake and flesh cream is underneath Momon paste. It's ordinary soft sponge cake. It tastes slightly sweet. To go drink and dessert menu also look good. What do you think eating and grabbing some food from Suisen when you hang out at Shibuya? Number 6. Juenpa. This is the latest trend food in Shibuya. We can have very interesting cheese bread. It's really stretchy. It's located in Megadonki, which is kinda shopping mall. This is a very famous and unique store. We need to buy a ticket from a vending machine before we are in the queue. Once we give a ticket to the shop, a shop staff starts making juenpan. Juenpan is baked food and mozzarella cheese is inside. Waiting for about 4 minutes to be back. And soon a shop staff nicely cuts juenpan and gives it to us. Please eat outside. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. This is juenpan. It's formed as juen, but it costs 500 yen. Shape is completely same as the ten coin. Inside is full of melted mozzarella cheese. It's really hot, 
be careful. Cheese is very stretchy and it tastes and smells full of cheese. Bread is crispy and soft. Combination between bread and cheese is of course good. If you are a cheese lover, it's worth to try Juenpa. Number 7. Sandayu. We can have ideal Japanese meal. Grilled fish with one side dish and miso soup is the best Japanese dish. Inside of the restaurant is old fashioned Japanese restaurant. Tatami is very traditional Japanese food. It mainly serves charcoal grilled fish meal. We can select and have various kind of fish such as makaro, salmon, Pacific soli, etc. Once we order a meal, a shop staff starts cooking our meal. We can see how they cook with charcoal over the window. It smells very nice of roastiness. This is grilled makaro and salmon belly dish. We have bowl of rice, miso soup, pickled Japanese relish, grated Japanese relish, grilled makaro, and salmon belly for the combo. Most of the Japanese think this is the best and ideal dish for Japanese breakfast. If you have Japanese friends, ask them ideal Japanese meal. Japanese will absolutely tell you it's a grilled fish meal. Let me know their answer in the comment box. Can you hear that? Makaro is well grilled, so it's really crispy. It's so fatty and tasty. Salmon belly is really soft. It's grilled by the grilled alarm, so fat is nicely taken on. It tastes so rich of salmon, but it's less fat and healthy. If you want traditional Japanese grilled fish meal, Sandayu is my recommendation. Let's move on to next travel spot. This and popular place in Shibuya is here, Miyashita Park. I'll share next target from this place. Number 8. Miyashita Cafe. Let's take a break with creamy soft serve. This is a soft serve specialty shop, but this drink, cream soda, is very good. Japanese loves it. This is the menu. We can have soft serve with various different styles. And today, I'll share cream soda. This is melon cream soda. It's well known as soda float in English countries, but we call it cream soda. Soft serve is very milky and smooth. It's dense and full flavor of milk. It's sweet, but it's not overly. This is really good. Soda pop is melon flavor. How come soda pop with soft serve is so good? It's a great refreshment. Salad chili usually comes with cream soda. It's kinda symbol of drink. Walk and explore at Miyashi Park and take some rest at Miyashi Cafe will be excellent journey. I'll share one more place at Miyashi Park. There's a street called Shibuya Yokocho. There are many restaurants on this street and we can have local Japanese food from all over Japan. Street is very unique as if we have time travel too long ago. I'll share a restaurant from this street. Number 9. Kyushu Shokuichi. Kyushu is southern part of Japan and it has great culture and food. This is a menu. We can have variety food and drink from Kyushu. Every single dish is unusual in Tokyo. Ingredients and way of cooking are even interesting. And today, I'll share tonko rice from Nagasaki. This is tonko rice. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? Men's dream is food in this plate. We can enjoy lots of carbohydrates and deep fried at the same time. Tonko rice is from ketchup pasta, deep fried pork, and special seasoned rice. Tonko is turkey in Japanese. I'm not too sure why it's named Tonko. If you know the reason best, please let me know in the comment box. Men usually love carbohydrates and deep fried things, so do I. I think a developer of this food is genius. Our dream comes true with Tonko rice. By the way, there are lots of great shops and restaurants, and this is really attractive spot in Shibuya. Visit and enjoy your day at Miyashi Park. Miyashi Park is over for now, and I'll share two more spots around Shibuya. Number 10. Kisa Satara. This space is very old and nostalgia of Showa period. It serves pudding, and this brings us great memories when we are kids. This is old-fashioned style cafe called Kisa Ten. It's a little bit far from Shibuya Station, but it's my recommendation cafe. I ordered pudding and cafe latte. Cafe latte is very common. It's really nice to have on a hot day. 
I love milk and bitter espresso so much. This is a pudding that I want to share for today. It's really creamy, milky and jiggly. It tastes slightly below caramel. Pudding is sweet, but it has gentle sweetness. I love this sweet level. This is the pudding that all the Japanese people love. It's really soft, but it's so dense. Once you have it, you see why this pudding is really good. To have coffee and pudding to enjoy your own time at Satara. It will be great. Number 11, Shiroichi. This is another soft serve specialized shop, but this soft serve is so long. It's well known as one of the longest soft serve in Tokyo. It's over 30 centimeters long. This shop is located between Shibuya and Harajuku. Menu is only soft serve. We can select five different soft serve. This is natural soft serve. As you can see, soft serve is really long. It tastes milk and vanilla. The interesting point of this soft serve is texture. Outside is like sherbet and inside is really smooth ice cream. It's completely different from ordinary soft serve. If you want to have new style soft serve, try this out. Enjoy soft serve and take a rest at Shiroichi. So this is all about Shibuya. Shibuya is a very attractive town. It's a great place to hang out, have some food, and go shopping. We can do anything at Shibuya. If you have no plan to do in your day, just come and walk around Shibuya. You'll find something good and it's gonna be a wonderful day for you. I shared 11 food and lessons today, but there are lots of more great lessons in Shibuya. I'll share them one day. It's over for now. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I hope this video helped your travel and enjoy your trip in Japan. I hope you enjoyed my video. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. Please click the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all for today. Have a good day and good night. Bye!